congratulations first of all for starting your new office your second office here in hyderabad in this uh, fantastic space i feel very proud about the achievements of the company of course i had i remember meeting you when i had come to inaugurate your office at uh, ecil you had mentioned that uh, you had showed me around and told me which are the other companies which are there and you had also shown me their office and because the name is very unusual it it had uh, struck in my mind but i'm very happy that uh, since then i think that was almost 4 years ago between then and now you have made uh, remarkable progress you have uh, much more headcount today but i just learned from kalyan that the company values the contribution which the hyderabad office is making they have other offices of course in the uk in the us now malaysia but amongst all of them the contribution which is made from this office till recently the team in ecil and hopefully from the team which is now in this building kapil tower the contribution will continue to grow and uh, be of value and respect for your company i also appreciate the fact that hyderabad at one point in time couple of decades ago actually was seen largely as a services center i mean if you have to provide it services then you used to look at companies which are located in hyderabad so in that kind of a context to find companies which are also into product development is very very important very encouraging and i just learned that there's a fantastic product which uh, kagul and microsoft have developed together called velocity which is considered to be one of the most used uh, <clears throat> products particularly when it comes to adoption to sap and uh, data migration etc etc so it's uh, something which uh, we all feel very proud about because our whole attempt in the government also is to give a new shape new dimension to the hyderabad the it industry we want more and more product development to happen we want more and more innovation to happen and eventually this is where the trend is the future is going to be of those people who develop more uh, user friendly products more enterprise uh, ready products and solutions using uh, emerging technology so i guess this is where you are also heading i'm i'm also told that there are many of you for whom this is the first job you have been selected through campus placement i was told that there are many of you from nit warangal some of you are from bits so again this is a i this is something else that i also appreciate quite a lot because i know the reputation of bits i know the reputation of nit warangal some very large companies also go and recruit there i know that amazon recruits lots of people from nit warangal bits also has a very good placement record but to still decide that i will work for a mid scale company but i'll work in a company which is agile which has global footprints which gives uh, autonomy it is a non hierarchical work culture career advancement is good and to take that kind of a mature decision at such a young and early stage of your career is as i said again something very very appreciable so good wishes to all of you but what i would also suggest to you and uh, uh, icr representatives barni garu and kishor garu are here hyderabad is also one place where the it industry is very closely integrated you will not find this let us say in a bangalore or in gurgaon or uh, a pune or elsewhere this is one place where the industry supports each other there are lots of industry interactions industry events which are conducted we would also like you to participate in all that which is happening in fact uh, some of the events are uh, supported by associations like icia nascom the government also conducts uh, frequent events uh, uh, on and off you will be reading about it hearing about it and nowadays when virtual is also a very useful way of connecting with people you will also see lots of online things happening so even though you are working in a particular assignment with clear uh, deliverables expected of you but continue your uh, lifelong learning process icia also i believe has uh, some uh, programs where uh, upskilling is encouraged nascom i know for sure has an upskilling program we also have an institution in the government which is called task the telangana academy for skills and knowledge where also we encourage employees who are who are uh, up to 3 years of uh, seniority to take uh, to uh, to join one of those uh, 
upskilling programs and be relevant so that tomorrow when uh, new opportunities come you should uh, have that uh, confidence in you and the capability in you to make use of that new opportunity one very important thing which is happening the world over and again i say this with uh, lots of personal understanding and uh, and uh, also after listening to lots of domain experts in fact i mentioned this somewhere else al earlier also the scenario which we see today is like the y2k movement which came uh, approximately 22 years ago some of you may may not even have been born in that period but i can let you know that in the year 1999 there was a very serious concern the world over that when the year 2000 comes when the century changes from 1999 to 2000 all the it systems across the verticals across the world will collapse because that transition was not uh, thought about when this kind of a y2k challenge was visualized indian companies seized that opportunity and today all the giant indian companies that we see around us they actually became so big starting with that moment when they started providing services solutions manpower resources etc etc and obviously we know today that nothing uh, catastrophic happened when y2k came so covid also in some ways is that y2k movement because uh, we are seeing the whole in the whole world an amazing uh, thrust towards digitalization companies which had nothing to do with uh, automation with applications with uh, software they are falling over each other in becoming uh, more and more digital so there are tremendous opportunities again the world over to to supply user friendly application softwares products etc etc and again as i said just as y2k scenario was exploited the most by indian companies this is again the time where where indian companies can really rise and shine in those days there is one difference between 1999 and 2021 2022 etc in those days the opportunity was uh, maximized only by large companies only an infosys or a tcs or a wipro or an hcl only these kind of companies could really make their uh, uh, presence felt across the world one difference between 20 years ago and today is that the it world has become extremely democratized even a small startup can find some opportunity and can really stun the world and that kind of scenario is present today so you don't have to worry that how will i compete with infosys how will i compete with wipro don't have to worry about it you just have to think of what is the requirement in the market which segment requires what kind of solution what kind of products can i innovate and find something and there are already in the last two years i have attended so many seven seminars so many webinars i have seen so much of interesting work which is happening by indian companies so i'm very confident that given the legacy of 15 years or so 16 16 years that your company has you will be able to uh, build on that legacy of innovation of uh, being very agile being very entrepreneurial the hyderabad team's uh, track record of providing high quality solutions and products for your company that will remain intact and uh, i do hope just as uh, kalyan here and dan and prashant were speaking this is just the beginning i also believe that that is how it should be there are uh, tremendous opportunity and what uh, has happened in the last four year moving from one employee to 200 employees that uh, trajectory i'm sure will continue you will run out of space very very shortly you will be compelled to look at uh, more spaces etc and we'll also be always be happy to help you and support you in whichever way we we can so once again good wishes to all of you may the may the may the company continue to make hyderabad proud and uh, good wishes everyone